Let's look at a special kind of series called a geometric series. A geometric series has the following form. You see this n minus one. You stick one in there, this becomes zero. R to the zero goes away. So this A is your first term, but every term after that gets multiplied by a power of R. And let's go ahead and state to the result a geometric series converges if and only if the absolute value of R is less than one. The proof of this is cute and we can give it easily. We'll start by writing down the nth partial sum. Now this sum is just a standard finite sum. We can multiply it on the left and on the right by R. When you multiply by R, A became AR, AR became AR squared, AR squared became AR cubed, and so on. AR to the n minus one, became AR to the N. Now we're going to subtract. And of course, over here, virtually everything cancels. AR minus AR, AR squared minus AR squared. The only terms that don't just cancel out when you subtract are this A and this ARN. Now we'll solve for the nth partial sum. We'll pull this S sub N out over here, we pull A out. And S sub N equals this. And this is the nth partial sum to investigate convergence or divergence, we take the limit and see what happens. And what happens depends on this R. If the absolute value of R is greater than one, then as n goes to infinity, this goes to infinity. And we have something that looks like this. Well, one minus infinity is negative infinity times A is still negative infinity divided by one minus R 
is still negative infinity. So this limit doesn't exist. It diverges. If the absolute value of R is less than one, something like one half. If you take one half squared, it becomes smaller. One half cubed, even smaller. If this is a fraction that's less than one in absolute value, Rn is going to zero. And not only does it converge, it converges to A divided by one minus R. One case not covered by these, what if R equals one in absolute value? Well, when we did this division, we needed to assume that R wasn't to one. But if R equals one, we have A plus A plus A plus A plus A plus A, that's infinity. If R is negative here, A plus A plus A plus A, that's infinity. If R is negative one, a minus A plus A minus A plus A. That's just a variation of Grandi series. It diverges. So the absolute value of R equals one is the divergent case. So here is a summary of what we just found. The geometric series is quite remarkable in the sense that we rarely will be able to look at a convergent series and say what it converges to. Having a series where we have a formula for the sum is not a typical situation.